Can these wireless mics by 7 Rob survive the life of a YouTube content creator? I'm going to take you through the process of a photo shoot, what's in my camera bag, and vlog, recording all audio into the new IRA DW30 wireless mics. I'm also giving away a free set of these as well. Stick around so you can enter to win these. Yep, it's on me. Oh, right. I got it on me. <laughs> the fog did not come. I knew it wasn't pulling up though. <laughs> That's dirty. That is dirty, yo. Yeah. That is dirty. That's definitely dirty. All of this audio is off of the Seven Rhymes iRay DW30 wireless microphones. We're doing a photo shoot right now for my homie Jimmy G. It's the sun's rising. We got this Aperture Amaron tube. We just experiment. I'm taking some JPEGs, black and white, see if we can get some dramatic black and white photos. Let's we'll see what we get. Hey, yo, can you back this light up just a little bit, bro? Can you also um, turn the intensity up a little bit? Kind of just uh, get into a rhythm of like just moving. All right, so. Yeah, just move around. Do your thing. All right, uh, turn turn around. Like look look towards the way. Yeah. Just like a shot like that. I like these. They kind of show scale. It's pretty dope. Still this way. Yeah, yeah. Look that way. Towards the light. All right. Let's um. Let me get you over this way. I like the lines right here in the sky. All right, let me catch like, uh, let me catch some joints with your hood on. I'll try to lower my shutter for these. All right, so kind of just like look around. Yeah. Move a little bit more. Just want to kind of get some motion in these photos. Probably my favorite features of these mics is that they have internal memory for recording. The kit comes with two wireless mics and a receiver. And typically what you would do is connect the receiver to your camera and have the audio from the mics baked into the video clip you're filming, which is cool. I like this a lot. It's convenient, but I love the fact that if I don't have the receiver or I don't want to bake that audio into the video clip, I can just press record on the mic and it'll record and save that audio file internally. I can then use that audio for a voiceover or sync it to a video clip in post after I've done all the audio adjustments. The mics and receiver have an LCD screen for monitoring information and they have a 100 meter working range which is impressive. All you have to do is turn on the mics and the receiver and they connect instantly so they're very easy to use. I got the snotty nose out here, them early morning missions. Now we done, we can go to bed. You actually going to sleep? Yeah, I'm actually going to sleep. <laughs> I'm actually going to bed. I took a lot of pictures and all of them weren't great, but once I cut the batch down to like five or six, I think I'm gonna have some fire. But that's what it's all about though. You just gotta, you just gotta fire off the hip. You know what I mean? See what happens. I think a lot of the earlier pics were super grainy and I kind of rocks with that. I like that aesthetic that it was added to it. So I'm gonna try to match these later pics to those. And then I'm gonna go through those experimental picks too with the lower shutter and try to add a couple of those in. I think it's gonna be dope. I think it's gonna be a tight photo set once it's done. Yeah, we're just casually chilling on the cliff. Right now, we're gearing up. We're about to set up the C70 and the gear we're using to shoot this project we got coming up. You can hear me so crispy right now because I'm using the wireless microphone, the iRay DW30s. I got the live on. It's a little windy, so hopefully none of that wind is peeking through, but I got the dead cat. I just don't wanna, I need my hands free. So this is the life. Hopefully it sounds good. Let's get this stuff together. And I'll show y'all what's happening. Whatever. That's as good as I can get it. We about to start filming right now. Uh, we got the C70 with the 24 millimeter Sigma Art 1.4 lens. And we're about to film some B-roll of these clothes because this is for uh, another video that we're doing. I'm gonna take the microphones off because 
I don't want to have the mics on me, but make sure y'all check out this behind the scenes portion of this. Yeah, see what we're doing. I really like the safety mode because of how unpredictable sound can be. It records a backup audio track at negative 6 dB to avoid random peaking that may happen. The different input modes you can use on these mics is really nice as well. I think these mics are very noticeable when clipping them to your shirt, so it's great to be able to switch over to a live whenever you want the mic to be a little bit more stealth. The kit also comes with two live mics and two dead cats, which is pretty dope. So we pulled up to our next location, which is actually fire. We waiting for the sun to pop out. We gonna film some B-roll. Same setup, C70, Sigma 24 millimeter. I still got the microphone on, so I can really, you know, be down here popping off, or I could be in your face popping off, you feel me? You let me know what you want. All right? All right. <laughs> Yeah, we just wrapped. I think we pretty much got all the stuff we need. You know what time it is. Back to my own sneakers. Finally. <laughs> I hope the wind is not killing this audio. I got the X100V. We've been snapping X100V shots um, basically the whole time we've been up here. But I'm about to kind of just grab some individuals of the scenery itself. Let's do it. Scenery's fire, man. Even this sunset. See, we got this empty uh, motel sign over here. And then back here, we got this abandoned motel. We shot numerous music videos up here. It's a dope spot, though. It's a really dope spot. This is gonna be the last and final test of the IRADW30, just doing a simple YouTube video. I got my cinema bag right here and I just wanna show you guys what's inside of it. We'll be able to see how the audio from the microphone sounds or hear how it sounds. I'm wearing it in this orientation right here, which is my least favorite to be completely honest with you. Look at it, it looks freaking ugly and I also got a necklace on so that could be some sort of interference coming in if that does so happen. But these are supposed to have intelligent denoise. We'll see how good that is when we ruffling around inside of the backpack and also the autofocus from my top down camera going kind of crazy. But let's get into it. This is the backpack though. This is the Timba Aircase Roadie 21. And looking at it from the top down, it just looks like luggage. I'll make sure to show you guys some B-roll of me using this because you don't get a full visual of what the backpack actually looks like. But this is less of a backpack and more of a case. I got really tired of going through airports with a ton of gear on my back and this has been a lifesaver. It has wheels on the bottom, it has hard stops so you can stand this up, it won't tip over, and it's incognito. You're rolling through the airport with this, it doesn't look like it's gear in it, it literally just looks like luggage and I like that aspect of it a lot clean not too much going on and even on this side it has tsa locks you can be able to lock this down if you do end up checking this open it up and this is the layout this top flap right here does have a couple pockets on it i'll make sure to get b-roll to that as well but this has a couple pockets in it but this is super padded this pack is specifically made for traveling so it can handle a couple dings a couple tosses and your gear inside of it should be really good you can see like these edges right here are super, super padded, and this is deep as well. So I love that a lot. This is my orientation, but uh, obviously it's fully customizable. This little side area over here, you can actually pull out 
So if you want to throw something in there and not have the lens pouch, you can do that. But uh, I find that this works well for what I'm taking with me. It's not a lot in here and it gets the job done. So let's just start over here on this left side with my lenses. I have three different sections over here for lenses. Obviously, you can put whatever you want inside of these uh, sections. But right now, I got my uh, Canon 50 millimeter F1.2 right here. Love this lens a lot, you know. You see me using this all the time with my projects. I eventually want to get a cinema lens set because the problem with me having some Canon lenses, some Sigma lenses, is that the colors don't match up all the time. I film some stuff on my 24, I film some stuff on my 50, I throw the exact same color grade on it, and it's all out of whack. So I want to get a cinema lens set that has consistent colors all the way throughout the range, and I'll do that sometime soon. This is my 100 millimeter F2.8 macro Canon L series lens. I freaking love this lens. I can't say enough good things about it, man. I've had this for a while and every time you put this on, the shots out of it just are crispy. This is like a cheat code right here. This 100 millimeter right here is crazy. Love this lens, can't say enough good things about it. And then I got an empty space right here. I would usually have like my Sigma 24 millimeter right here, but I'm using that right now on the R6. So. Uh, that's the left side of it. Let's get into this little area right here. Um, this is the Rode NTG4 Plus, and this is a shotgun boom microphone. I bring this with me whenever I'm doing like documentary style work or if I'm doing a shoot and I need Nick to get behind the scenes audio of me, we'll bring this uh, Rode NTG4 Plus. The audio from it sounds really good. And honestly, since we got the Seven Rhymes IRA, DW30s, I'll probably use these a lot more. This is kind of like a specialty microphone. I don't really bring it with me all the time, but um, if we're doing behind the scenes stuff, this is the one, at least before we got these ones. What else we got? I got these two pouches right here. These are from Prism Lens Effects. I tend to keep these in here because if I'm shooting music videos, I like to have stylistic looks for certain things. So this is uh, Cinema Split Diopter right here. You can see right there, just that effect of my mouth like halfway um like that looks fire you can't you can't deny that you can't deny that so i keep this in the bag if i ever need to add a cool stylistic look to a shot and then i also got another one right here which is the split uh kaleidoscope which also looks really cool you can just get a cool um example what that look like right there keep these in the bag i love these a lot use these all the time if I really need to spice up a shot. Those are good to have. The next thing I actually just picked this up. This is uh, the Shark Geek Storm 2. And this is a rechargeable power bank, but it is so much better than the one I had before this. Really good thing about this is it has USB-C and a regular USB port right there on the top. And the output on this thing is outrageous. Like this thing can charge so many different things. And another thing that I really like about it is it has a screen which shows you so much information. It shows you the output that is given to the device that's plugged into it. It tells you the input of the charging that you're inputting into this. It has so much information on this little LCD screen. I like this a lot. And then, I mean, it also just looks dope. Like you can't deny <laughs> how tight this looks. It's gonna be linked down in the description if y'all wanna check this out. This is really dope. And uh, I can't recommend this enough. This is really dope. Slide this back in. This is just a microfiber cloth from Prism Lens Effects. The best microfiber cloth I've ever had. <laughs> Not even lying. This is my top handle right here for my C70. This is from Condor Blue. I wanted the all black ones, but they were just sold out for too long. So I had to get the silver and blue, but this is cool. Has a bunch of different mounting points on the top. Has a record button if you want to plug in the wire. I never plug in the wire for this. I need to start doing that, but having that record on the top is pretty dope. This is uh, for NATO rail, so it applies to the camera or whatever you're trying to attach it to really fast. This is dope. On the end of it, I got uh, an Ari style monitor mount and the swivels as well. If I need to go up or down with the monitor on the end of it, it's really dope. I like this top handle a lot. I like it also because it's kind of offset, so it kind of helps balance out um, the counterweight from the camera, like say it's too front heavy. The fact that it's offset like that does a really good job of kind of balancing out that weight. I got a rocket blower because why not, you know, 
need to blow some dust off a lens or off a sensor. You got that. I got this adapter from Condor Blue. This is the Mini XLR to regular XLR adapter. So if I ever need to use my Rode NTG4 Plus, I got that on me. And then I also got this uh, LPE6 dummy battery for my monitor. Plug that into DTAP on my battery for my C70. And everything is just powered off of one battery, which is really dope. And this little pocket right here, you can't even really see into. I got a GoPro. I wanna get the newer GoPro just because it doesn't have the bottom mounting on it. And I hate putting this inside of a case, but this is a Black Hero 7. Does a job, gets the behind the scenes footage I need. I don't really care too much about the quality, but the fact that I have to put this inside of a case to mount it to the accessories is pretty annoying. So I might swap this out for a newer one sometime soon. If I do that, I'll give this away. I'll be sometime soon. What else we got? In this pouch, I got batteries. These are by Blue Shape for the C70. I like these batteries a lot. These are like some of my favorite because they have a D-tap out port right there which is dope, so swivel that off and then I can plug in my dummy battery to power my monitor and also the camera. Then on this side, it also has a USB-C out also, which is really dope. So if you need to power something with USB, uh, USB not USB-C, regular USB, that's pretty dope too. I like these a lot. They're kind of big, but I like the fact that they're big. They help offset the weight with the camera setup. They last forever. I like that a lot. I got two of these. I like these so much, I got two of these. I have some of the regular um, Canon uh, batteries for the C72, but I just keep these in the backpack. I find that these work a lot better, especially with my monitor. As far as my monitor, I got the Small HD 502 Bright. This is discontinued, but this is a fantastic monitor. It's super bright, it's super crisp. The design of it is still pretty sleek. Um, I like this a lot. I got this for a deal before I got discontinued, but since then, Small HD has made a budget monitor that goes pretty bright in nits as well. So it's whatever. I still use it. I like it a lot. You can input LUTs on it. Uh, I think the size of it is just perfect. I think five inch monitors are great. And this is the one I use. It has SDI out and SDI in as well as HDMI and it runs off of LPE6 batteries. I just throw that dummy battery in there and I'm good to go. I like that. Next is the iRay DW30s, the microphones. This is the charging case, which I like a lot. This is one of the main things that I love about these microphones. The fact that these just charge inside of the case and they look so sleek, like look at them. Look at that, man. They just look dope. You look at the top down you get all this information right here on the LCD of the battery levels, if it's charging, if it's not charging. These are magnetized as well, so you drop them straight in and they just clip straight in. You know, you ain't gotta fiddle with it, making sure it hits the charging pins, it's magnetic. I like that a lot, man. The fact that this has the recharging case is one of my favorite things about this. Right now I'm using one of the microphones and um, the microphone that I'm using right now, I'm not using the receiver, the receiver's right here. I'm actually recording directly into the microphone, which is dope. I'll just plug this microphone in via USB-C to the computer and the uh, data transfer rates for the audio file will be really quick. So keep those in the pocket right there. Next thing is the trusty 16 to 35 F2.8 version three from Canon can't go wrong with this lens. It's very expensive, but it's a great all-in-one. It's pretty heavy, but once you got this lens, you can just do anything on it. I vlog on this, I shoot dock work on this, I shoot BTS on this. Having that range from 16 to 35, even on APS-C or Super 35, is just great. This is one of the best lenses you can get, man. 16 to 35 is a great range. It's expensive, but if you can afford it, I promise you, you'll use this lens for a lot of things. And last, is the C70. The C70 fits great inside of this bag, which I like a lot. I do have to break it down, unfortunately, but I'm cool with that. In order to have a compact bag this size, have all the things I need inside of it, have wheels on it, be able to roll this through the airport, I'm totally cool with that, man, because when I had the C200, I couldn't take that thing anywhere. I had a rolling case for that, but it wasn't padded, so I didn't really feel comfortable flying with it. This backpack is great for the C70. 
it's nice and deep so it can stand up fits right inside of this little area that I carved out for it and it just goes in there perfectly so this is my cinema bag I like this bag a lot like I said it has wheels on it it has the extended handle so you just roll through the airport with this it doesn't look like a camera bag it's incognito nobody asks you what you're doing or what you do for a living this backpack is the one if you're interested in any of this stuff I'll leave links down to this stuff in the description below but that's that how did the audio sound if you're interested in winning the ira dw30 kit for free there's three things that you have to do drop a like on this video follow the official seven robs instagram account the link will be down in the description below and also drop a comment on this video including your instagram ad so i can reach out to you and let you know you want other than that if you're interested in picking up the ira dw30 kit Use this promo code down below. You'll get this percentage off. I promise you, you will not be disappointed in this kit. I love these microphones and I think that they fit so well into my working process and the versatility between them is like, I can use it for anything. So links down in the description if you guys wanna check these out. Make sure to drop a like on this video. Also subscribe to the channel if you're new here. I'm out guys, peace.